What's going on Pokemon Card Nation? Welcome back to another video. If you are seeing this, we have hit 400 wow. subscribers. And today, to commemorate that milestone, we are going to open a bunch of packs, including a couple of Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl era packs, some Phantom Forces, Next Destinies, this Platinum Supreme Victors pack, a Crystal Guardians pack, and to finish it off, a base set Venusaur artwork pack. And without further ado, let's get into it. There's also some Sword and Shield stuff I'm going to start with, and we're going to go to X and Y. I think I didn't say that when we started, but we'll start with the amazing uh, Sword and Shield sets like Darkness Ablaze. Now, some of these came from mystery boxes, so it's entirely possible we won't get the Charizard. As sometimes they're just not in there, but you never know. We might pull a Charizard for once. It'd be pretty cool to pull in the 400 sub special. Furret. Is Furret in the set? I totally didn't realize that. Flaffy. Larvesta. More little, and I'll do them a little faster just so we can get through them until we get to the older stuff. R hollow Tapu Coco, and I'm not going to double sleeve the hollows just for the sake of saving some sleeves today, but I will sleeve any ultra rares or better, and then hollows that are vintage like diamond and pearl or older, I'll sleeve those. What do we have in this next Darkness of Blaze pack? And did I do five? Okay, no, I did four. Cape of Toughness. Powerful Colorless Energy, Soul Rock, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Sorchik, A.A. Ron, Rugity, Wishy Washy, Reverse Hollow Toxtricity, and a regular rare Diggersby. Such an ugly Pokemon, I hate it so much. Grimace Snarl V artwork is up next. I've noticed that a lot of these Darkness of Blaze packs that came from here were the Grimace Snarl arts, which I don't really care about. I don't know why they picked all Grimace Snarl. I always find it funny when you get these mystery boxes and uh, you get the less popular artworks. For those who don't know, if you're new here, like I said, these all came, a lot of these packs came from mystery boxes. Not all of the, not the ones in blisters, but the ones that are basically not sealed. Other than a few X and Y stuff that I found under the shelf that I took out of the pack just to make sure the pack was good. Or I took out of the sleeve, sorry, the pack sleeve. Shinotic, Dino, Pass Simeon, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gothita, Dracozolt Reverse Hollow, and a regular rare Galarian Darmanitan. Not off to a great start. Sword and Shield Base is up next. We are looking for a Rainbow Marnie or the Golden Zacian or Zamazenta. Those would be our searches for the day on Sword and Shield. And I don't think there's anything else in the set that I'm really after. Not that I can think of anyway. Ordinary Rod, Bead, Maractus the Cactus, Mudbray, Ponyard, Scorbunny, Nick at the Fox, Reverse Choodle, and a regular rare Rillaboom. Sword and Shield Lapras VMAX pack art is up next. After we finish the Sword and Shield and X and Y stuff, other than the Phantom Forces, because uh, I want to open that one kind of last just because it's a mysterious pack still in the sleeve, and because it could have the Silver Dialga in it. So we'll do that one uh, a little bit with the older stuff. But we'll do Diamond and Pearl era stuff next. And then we'll move on from there. Reverse Gossifleur and a Lapras V. There we go. We got a V hit. First really big hit of the day. Well, not really big, but decent. Now, the Platinum stuff, even if it's Wade Light, um, should have uh, secret rares that are shiny in the Reverse Hollow slot, I do believe is where they would be. So... If you ever buy a light platinum pack or something of that nature, I do believe you can still get it really solid hits. So just keep that in mind when looking for sealed packs, especially now that the older Wizards of the Coast stuff is becoming like completely unaffordable for people, like just normal people like us. So Marsharna, so there's still ways to get good pulls, even if the packs are weighed. Another Lapras VMAX art up next. Lapras VMAX art to go, or V, not VMAX, to go with our Lapras V pull. What's in this pack? It's a mystery. Water Energy, Metal Saucer, Rotom Bike, Big Charm, Crab Raven Crabby is back in the house. Mencino, Galarian, Ponita, sorry if I like move the cards a little too much. Reverse Pokegear 3.0 and a regular rare Cloister. I don't like Cloister that much, but that is a nice Cloister artwork. Another Sword and Shield pack is up next. What have we got in this next pack? 
Yeah, I'm kind of sick of the Sword and Shield set so far. Vivid Voltage looks great, but the rest of the sets so far have been meh at best. Fighting Energy, Potion, Rhydon, Eldegoss, Rhyhorn, Clabopus the Octopus, Goldeen, Roselia, Ghastly, Reverse Poke Kid, and a regular Rare Mudsdale. If you guys heard that, my son just sneezed and it was very cute. Another Sword and Shield pack up next. Then we're moving on to Crimson Invasion. Probably not my most favorite set, but not my least favorite set in the world. It actually does have some decent trainer cards. Fighting Energy, Galarian, Linoon, Rotom Bike, Drizzle, Mencino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth, Scorbunny, Reverse Hitmonlee, and a Victini V. There we go, we got another hit in this pack. There we go, or opening, pack opening. Technically one hit per pack would make more sense. So what I said doesn't make any sense. That's okay though. We don't come here to make sense, we come here to open cards. Another Crimson Invasion up next. See, Crimson Invasion has been pretty good to us so far. Probably because nobody likes it. Oh no, we can see the code. No, no, we can see that it was green. Well, good luck to your online pulls. We'll do this one really quickly since we know what color it was. Graveler, Geodude, Dino, Shellos, Corfish, Mencino, Reverse Magikarp, Altaria. That's actually really cool artwork. I wish it was hollow, but it's cool artwork. Another Crimson Invasion is up next, and then once we get to Diamond and Pearl, I'll clean up all the cards that are chilling in the back right there, because I know I'm bad at keeping my piles together. I'm terribly bad at it. Darkness Energy, Psychic Memory, Dashing Pouch, Kakuna Matata, Shellos, Bunnelby, Kaknia, Swineub, that's a cool art too, A.A. Ron, Reverse Wigglytuff, and a Registeel that is off-centered as all get out. That's okay, though. Another Crimson Invasion pack up next. And then we... So, hold on. I just noticed something. Okay. I was going to say, is it normal for the uh, Pokemon to be printed in front of the trading card game logo? And it is. It's even on the Diamond Pearl packs. So, I was just, like, confused for a second. Ah, we see a code again. I hate that. We'll do it quick again. Hey, Fairy Energy, RIP, Miltank, Zuelis, Devoured Field, Houndur, Jigglypuff, Swinub, Swablu. I don't know the pack trick for some of the older stuff, so just bear with me on that, because there's going to be no codes and no pack, uh, no pack trick. So we'll find the good stuff in the middle, which is fun, but it's not as cool as finding it at the end. This Growlithe is off-center off too. Why can't I ever pull a miscut? Everything I pull is like off center. Well, I, actually, that's not true. I did pull some miscuts from a Cosmic Eclipse blister pack once, but that's about it. Growlithe, you see how horrible that is? Look at how horribly off center that is. Poplio, these are all like that. Wait a minute. Let's make sure these aren't miscuts. I don't think they are. I don't see an alignment dot anywhere. They're just all that bad? No. These are, I'm gonna keep them to the side because they're all the same. And that's normally not how they get printed. Zubat, Reverse, Cosmoam, Regular, Rare. So we'll keep those to the side for now. The whole thing of... That's weird. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Steam Siege, the bestest, most awesomest, coolest set in the whole world. That actually does have some cool secret rares, but it's a terrible set. Three to the front when we're doing X and Y stuff. Braviary... Armor Fossil Shield on, Skiploom, Ashwat, Merrill, Ponita the Flame Pony, Litwick, Joltik the Electric Spider, Reverse Samurai, and a Mega Steelix EX, which is a, also a shiny Pokemon, which is a nice hit. I wasn't expecting that out of a Steam Siege pack. The moment Steam Siege comes through in a video, you know that you might have problems the rest of the video. If your best luck comes from Steam Siege, <laughs> then you know the video uh, may not be as good as you want it to be. That's okay. I'll still take the the shiny Steelix. I can't complain Another Steam Siege pack and then we're moving on to Fates Collide and then we will move on to Breakpoint and after that Evolutions and then we're going to the vintage stuff Azumarill, Meowth, Rufflet, Ponyta the Flame Pony, Larvesta, Joltik, Reverse Larvesta, 
regular rare Bastiodon. Is it just me or were those like the exact same pulls as the first pack? Fates Collide is up next. Can we pull the coveted Alakazam? Probably not. I don't know if Fates Collide code cards colored matter or not. Uh, I know for a while in X and Y, none of them mattered, so. Bronzor, Deerling, Carbink, Reverse Pupitar, and a regular Rare Superior. Very majestic looking. Up next is a Breakpoint. For those of you who watch my live stream, hashtag ShinyRedGary in the comment section. Comment it now. And if you made it this far in the video, throw that hashtag up there. I'd love to know. Let's see if we get that full art shiny Gary from this breakpoint pack. Probably not. I've gotten the mega one. I just need the regular, the secret rare one. Corsola, reverse C dot, regular rare meow stick, evolutions Charizard artwork is up next. At the time of filming this video, evolutions has extremely skyrocketed in price for whatever reason. There is your code. Uh, just because it's kind of popular, I guess, would be the reason. Because Charizard, I think. Blastoise Spirit Link. But we could get that reverse Charizard. I wouldn't mind the Hollow either, but I'd like the reverse better. Electabuzz. Drowsy. Reverse Weedle. Regular Rare Raticate. Can we get the Zard from the Blastoise pack? I wonder how Blastoise would feel about that if he knew his rival came out of his pack. Let's find out, shall we? Three to the front. I gotta remember. Don't screw it up. Kakuna, Coughing, Machoke, Nidoran, Mail, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Ponyta, the Fire Pony, Magnemite, Reverse Machamp, and a regular rare Mewtwo, so nothing too crazy. We are moving on to the Platinum and Diamond and Pearl. Oh, I guess there's a Roaring Skies and Agent Origins in here too. We'll, uh, we'll start with those, and then we're moving on to that era, and the reason I have them kind of split up, even with X and Y and some... Uh, platinum stuff over here or one platinum pack is because these came from mystery boxes right here Except for one of them actually one of them I bought from pokey rev the other one I bought from Mercari So there's two that didn't come from them But and then the base set pack did come from a mystery box But I want to open that one last I think the biggest question from that one is is it resealed or not? That's that's what we're all curious about. We'll start with roaring skies and agent origins and then we'll go from there Roaring Skies, I would actually love to pull the Full Art Shaman. It's a card I've never pulled, and I remember back in the day, it was worth some serious cash, and it actually recently has been banned and expanded play online. I don't know how that works in the regular card game. Rayquaza EX hits! There we go, from the Roaring Skies pack. Believe it or not, that pack was under a shelf, so that Rayquaza has been sitting there for a few years. The pack was under there for about probably five years since release because it was really dirty so that's my guess that's why i'm so curious about these under the shelf packs like you never know what's in them it's really cool the ancient origin ones too can we pull the shiny mega rayquaza or primal groudon or primal kyogre from a pack that was sitting under a shelf if we do then i'm gonna lose my mind because those cards are amazing and I've tried to pull them for years, and it's like all this time they've been sitting under the shelf. Gloom, Paint Roller, Porygon 2, Porygon, Golurk, Spinarak, Larvesta, Magikarp, Reverse Beldum, and a Mega Sceptile EX. Two card or two packs that were under a shelf come through. I wonder if the rest of them will. That is amazing. Look at that beautiful card. Man, do I miss this era. I like this era. It's sad to finally see it. I mean, I'm glad that it's finally starting to kind of disappear. You know, stuff becomes harder to get. But it's also a sad thing. It's a, it's a cool... It was a cool era. I think it's underappreciated. We'll do this Stormfront Infernate pack next. And this one came from Pokey Rev. I purchased from his online store. If you don't know who Pokey Rev is, be sure to check him out. And I don't know how to do the pack trick on this one. I think it's four, but I'm not... Or three or two or something like that. Snover, but I'm not sure. Voltorb. Ghastly, Cherubi, Reverse Rapidash, and a regular rare Obama Snow. We've got the Pokey Blower Plus, Haunter, and a Great Ball. So nothing too crazy from that pack. Still a cool thing to open. I do have another Stormfront pack in here, I believe. Platinum pack with Giratina on the front is up next. I remember from when I was a kid, because this is like the first time I collected cards was Diamond and Pearl era. I remember them not being as easy to get good hits as they are now. Mistrevis, Reverse Dunsparce, Regular Rare Cricketune. I don't expect much from these Platinum Packs, but you never know. You never know. 
Level X would be cool. I think it's the Giratina level X that I would be interested in. Combi, Squirtle the turtle. That's a very cool Squirtle art. We'll put that in the back. Squ starters are always good. Riolu, Happini, Reverse Chansey. Is that a rare? No, it's an uncommon. And an Infernape. That's pretty cool. Starter. Like I said, starters are good. We'll put the starter in the back. Cranidos, Team Galactic's Invention, and a Muck. Platinum Shaman art up next. Got quite a few more packs to go. Thank you all for sticking out this awesome opening. It's cool even if we don't pull anything too amazing today. I mean, it's cool to open old stuff. It's nice to see the artwork. Reverse Nine Tails and another Infernape starter. That's pretty cool. Cyrus Conspiracy, Combuskin the Kicking Chicken, Level Max. I know Combuskin counts as a starter, but I don't think he's as popular. Got a Platinum Pack with Dialga on the front. Dialga is one of my favorite Pokemon, if you guys didn't know. I know some of you know that already. And this pack got ruined trying to open it help there we go i got it okay i'm not sure how common those shinies are that are in the set i do believe they're in the set happini i think it's in like every platinum set low tad reverse wormpool gardevoir that's a hollow we got a hollow gardevoir look at it shine it's a nice looking hollow crobat g and a bronzong g and a houndoom g is pretty cool too i will double sleeve that hollow don't worry that's a nice hit right there. I like Gardevoir too, one of my favorite Pokemon. My son's sneezing, they're so cute. Hi, buddy. He says hi, everyone. Make sure you say hi in the comment section below. Are you guys enjoying the video? If you are, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to share this video. Thank you all for the most recent support I've had. I really appreciate it. All my old supporters who've been around for a while, I appreciate you even more, but thank you so much, everyone, really. Cacnea, Reverse Viagrowth, and a Hollow Hitmonchan. We got another vintage, technically it's vintage, Hollow. I will double sleeve it, don't worry. Cascoon, Broken Time Space, Looker's Investigation. You guys ready? Here we go. It's a weird Hollow. It's not that cool, but I mean, it is kind of cool. Pretty cool. At least it's mint, you know? Pack fresh. So there's a good thing. These Platinum Packs can have Hollows. Yeah, I remember Level X as being like ridiculously difficult to pull. But that's just the way I remembered it back when I was a kid. I, I didn't buy that many packs. Like, my parents couldn't always buy them. So it's kind of... This is a Diamond and Pearl pack, actually. And I got this on Mercari. So I've had some weird experiences with packs on Mercari before. So hopefully this one looks legit. And it does. Magnemite. Clefairy. Piplup. Sneasel. Skaroopy. Reverse Silicoon. And a Floatel Regular Rare. Luxio. Dusclops. Sea King. Stormfront pack I also got from Mercari. I th think the person who got this may have pulled it from a mystery box. I don't remember. I think they told me. Onyx, Stunky, Magikarp, Pikachu. That's a good hit. We'll keep a Pikachu. Bagon, Reverse Electrode, Regular Rare Tangaroth, Colorless Energy, Magneton, Badoo, Platinum Supreme Victors. Last pack from one of the mystery boxes other than the base set pack. The base set pack is what I'm really interested in, other than Crystal Guardians. I'm very curious to know, as like I said, the weight is so weird. Shroomish, Cricketot, Empoleon, Reverse Hollow, I'll keep that one. And a Honchcrow as the regular rare, that's pretty cool. Chatot G, Yanima, Hippopotas. On to Phantom Forces, can we pull the Silver Dialga level X? Um, or in the level X. I'm sorry. I'm used to the diamond pearl now. Uh, we're actually EX. EX is what we're talking about. We've got the Mega Magnetric Art. Now, Phantom Forces is one of those sets that has gone up pretty high. It's one of the X and Y sets. Probably one of the better ones. Good luck with your pulls online. And let's hope I get some good luck. Okay, come on. Silver Dialga. I'd love a pack fresh one. I don't think that's going to be in here. But Versus Seeker. Robo Substitute. Lampant. Eh, la, ma, la, ma, la, ma, la. Dedene, I can't say it. Litwick, Frillish, Helioptile, Reverse Frillish, and a regular rare Spirit Tomb. Still a cool art, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Up next, we have Next Destinies. This is not really an era I collected in, and I wish I did, and I have no idea the good pulls that can come from a Next Destinies pack. Maybe I should try and keep the pack arts a little bit safe, because these are starting to get, we're starting to get into old territory now. Oh. I guess there, the, there goes that one. I do not believe... I'll keep the pack cards over here. There are any pack tricks for the black and white. Or I don't believe there's any uh, code weights or code differences for black and white. I'm sorry. I'm getting tired. But did I do three or four? 
I did four, that's the rare. My bad, guys. But we'll still look through it. Could be a cool reverse hollow. I don't know what's in here. Grimer, Growlithe, Pharaoh Seed, Reverse Cincino. Hey, I was right. It is pretty cool. Up next, we have a Supreme Victor's Pack. Came from a Walgreens shelf. This is going to be a fun one. Hopefully, we get the Charizard G level X, I believe, is what we are looking for. And Crystal Guardians, we are looking for Gold Star Celebi or Gold Star Alakazam would be nice. And we have a Shinx, Drifloon, Piplup, Meowth, Zubat, Reverse Champions Room, and a Hollow Swampert. We got a starter hit. Like I said, I'm not gonna uh, sleeve the starters or the hollows right now. Spiritomb C, Driftblim, Staravia, Crystal Guardians is up next. Can I, I'm so curious. Like, has has a Gold Star card been sitting under the shelf at a Walgreens for? almost 20 years now this pack i believe is from 2003 we've got the blaziken art on the front one of i actually found another crystal guardians pack that i've opened recently on the channel with the at the same walgreens and it had the charizard art uh, i got a hollow ludicolo out of it now there are some amazing cards in here including a charizard hit but we're not actually after the charizard there's also a blastoise with a cool hit spoink C dot. I'm so interested in this. Electric, even if there's no hollow, I'll be excited. Torchic, energy switch, and a gold pin hollow on common, and a blastoise regular rare. Still pretty cool. Laron, Grovile. We'll keep those two. We'll keep those two. That's still a cool hit. Not the greatest pulls in the world today, but you know, it's something. All right, so I'm most interested in this pack. If you guys know, I pulled this out of a mystery power box and lots of people have been curious as to what could potentially be in here. I also pulled this one, but I'm going to sell this one because I don't want it. Um, so let's find out if they reseal these or if they had them some leftover. My thoughts are leftover stock, as I've seen others say. And I can tell you right now that I am correct. This is not a reseal. It's pack fresh just by opening it. We have a starter, which is um, a very good thing because that already increases the value, especially BGS. Drowsy, I'm gonna go a little slow. Abra. Ghastly. Onyx. Electabuzz as the rare, so no hollow. Jinx. Ivysaur, that's another good hit. Maintenance. Psychic energy. Leaf energy. For those who are curious, no, it was not a reseal. It is authentic. These are pack fresh and they are in very good condition, actually. Um, that's pretty amazing. So graded, I do believe, at a PSA 10, which this probably would not get that. This would get a nine from what I'm looking at. You would get a PSA 10 would be around 300. I'm not sure about the Ivysaur. I know the Squirtle is like 300 or higher. That is very cool. All right, guys, did you enjoy that video? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for helping me hit 400. I really appreciate it. Anyways, I will see you all later. Bye now.